New reports of Hillary Clinton's donors getting a little bit nervous about her campaign's viability. In a private conference call, this report says that some of her biggest supporters are allegedly in a bit of a panic over the ongoing email scandal and fears of, quote, new Benghazis. Welcome, everybody, to a new hour of America's Newsroom on a Friday. Yeah. I'm Martha McCallum. And I'm Bill Hemmer. So much for being private, right? Amid the drop in her poll numbers, Mrs. Clinton now in damage control mode, trying to keep those in her corner from bailing, we are told. It's clear that I should have used two different email accounts, and I've said that that was a mistake. I'm sorry, I've taken responsibility. But I've also, for more than a year now, been asking to testify uh, before the Congressional Committee that is investigating uh, the uh, situation in Benghazi. They would not let me appear. Finally, and I'm very happy about this, I will be appearing toward the end of October, and I will look forward to answering all their questions. I'm trying to be as transparent as possible. All right, let's line this up right now with Chief White House Correspondent Ed Henry live in Durham, New Hampshire. And Ed, good morning to you. Um, take the report first. What can we say about that today? Well, I, I think that panic might be too strong a word, but worry, concern from these donors. I've talked to some Democratic campaign donors who are deeply concerned. Look, right here in New Hampshire, there have been six straight polls that have Hillary Clinton now trailing the Democratic Socialist Senator Bernie Sanders. Why? Well, let me give you one quick example. Keystone Pipeline. Republicans want to build it. Bernie Sanders has come from the left and said, heck no, I don't want it built. Hillary Clinton has not taken a position. Here we are months into her presidential campaign. Last night I was at a town hall meeting with her. She was asked by a voter, where are you on this? And she finally said, I've got news for the White House. I'm not going to sit on this much longer. I'm going to have a position for you pretty soon. Uh, she had been saying she was holding back because as uh, Secretary of State, she had a role in shaping the policy. She wanted to give the White House some space. But to now say, look, at some point soon, I'll finally have a position, that's not a profile in courage. And Democratic voters are looking at that and wondering where does she stand? Now, I've been watching your Twitter feed for the last couple of weeks with keen interest because you will stand out photos um, of Hillary Clinton's events. The crowds there have been, yep, have been what or how would you describe them? They have been pretty weak. I mean, I started this last week in Columbus, Ohio. You have Ohio State a few miles away from where she was, and she only had a few hundred people. The campaign pushed back on me, but there are only a few hundred people there. Last night, I posted these pictures in Concord, New Hampshire, smaller than Columbus, but on the other hand, there was a town hall meeting. There were, as you can see from these pictures, empty seats in the back of the room. This is Hillary Clinton, the former Secretary of State, former First Lady. She's the Democratic front runner, or at least is supposed to be, uh, and it's, she has an enthusiasm gap out here. Now, there's empty seats behind me right now that's because she's not going to be here for a while so in fairness to her I guarantee it's going to fill up more soon but this room behind me you might not be able to tell from television again we're at the UNH campus the college campus should be a lot of fans of hers and this is a very small room where they're having the event she is not getting big crowds in fairness Jeb Bush is not either if you look on social media in Vegas yesterday he had a very dismal crowd so Republicans have their own issues but Hillary Clinton has an enthusiasm gap right now I saw that with Bush also so we will see your picture later um, regardless. <laughs> Thank you, Ed Henry <laughs> there in New Hampshire. Thanks, buddy. You bet.